In Golden Hill, near Kidsgrove, Stoke-on-Trent, lies this abandoned church, and next to it, a burnt-out school. This is yet another building in Stoke-on-Trent that has just been left, empty, and nothing's been done about it. The church is St John the Evangelist, which is also known as the parish church of St John the Elder. It was built between 1840 and 1841. And while the church is still in reasonable condition, the school next to it is definitely not. If you want the in-depth history on this church, then check out my website, which is the Red Aired Stokey. While I'm not a religious person, I always find churches to be a beautiful mark of the times. The money, the architecture, the community. So to see them left empty and rotting like this for no reason, it saddens me. And this church was deconsecrated, but I don't think it's ever been sold. So I am assuming it still belongs to the diocese. And the saddest thing about this, there's two things that really sadden me. One is the fact that this is home to three war memorials. This one, a wooden one inside, and the actual clock, which there's more details on in my article. The second thing that really saddens me is the state of this churchyard. When I was there recording this video, there was a, a gentleman there that was trimming back his actual family's plot. Can you imagine what it must be like having your family buried and then this happening? It just seems that nobody cares. It's fallen into such a state of disrepair. And this is the worrying thing is that I'm here in winter. Imagine what this looks like in the summer when everything's fully grown. The locals in Golden Hill spend a lot of time trying to fight back the greenery, but there's structural problems like this. How long is it before these graves start tipping over? And these are the records of our history. These are families that have lived in the local area for hundreds of years, and they're just going to disappear. And once the gravestones have tipped over and broken and been removed, or the trees have grown up through them like this, what happens then? Do they just remove them, throw them in the bin, and then eventually build on it? Because this is what happens to gravestones when they break. They're just used as hardcore filler. And it's sad. While this church definitely isn't one of the oldest in Stoke-on-Trent or Staffordshire, it is the highest point in Stoke-on-Trent. The top of this church tower can be seen from pretty much all over Stoke-on-Trent. And you can't tell me that this church can't be used for anything else. Can it not be used as a business? Can it not be used as offices? We've got churches in Stoke-on-Trent that are used as climbing walls and gyms. Are you telling me that the best thing for this building is to let it stay empty until it falls down? It may be structurally sound now, but it isn't going to be for long. It's covered in pigeons. The tiles are falling off the roof. It's just not going to be in this state for much longer especially with the amount of rain we've had this last few months. It's going to be creeping in somewhere. I mean, you guys know me. I love the idea of repurposing buildings. And this isn't a small church. But unless something changes soon, I don't think it's going to stand. It closed down in 2013, because obviously there's less and less people going to church. And... I understand that, I do, but you can't leave a legacy of, of the building and all of the people that are buried there and all of the history and then just leave it. And it's such a hotspot of antisocial behaviour. I mean, this is the school next door. It's been burnt out more times than is possible. I don't even think there's anything flammable left in here. This, again, would have been a beautiful building before it was burnt down. But again, why do we just... In the city, why do we get, have to leave things so empty for so long until someone burns them down? I mean, you could say it would be for development, but it's not, is it? Because this is still here. It's still a hollow shell and no one's demolished it. If this building had been sold and repurposed, I mean, we're in a housing crisis. Why couldn't it have been turned into flats and apartments, offices to rent out, anything? And then it begs the question of whose fault is it? Is it the fault of the owner for not doing anything with the building? 
I personally can't really understand why you would own a building and let it go to this, unless it's for insurance. But then once you've got the insurance, sell it, demolish it, flatten it, make a nice flat bit of land that's primed for real estate. Don't just leave it like this. The same goes for the council. If the council own the property, why don't they just sell it or demolish it and sell it? I can't see the benefit of anybody sitting on this, owning it and looking at it day in, day out, just sitting there. Anyway, that's enough of a rant. If you want more history on the church, then head to my blog, which is the Red-Haired Stokey. There's also photos of the church and the school, as they used to be, before they ended up in this state. But thank you for watching, and if you love local history, please check out my other videos, and don't forget to head over to my website, which is theredheadstokey.co.uk. Thank you.